basically it was people from Haiti uh, and the United States who, who started Partners in Health. And it was that experience of seeing, uh, first of all, how, what is it like to live in a medical desert? Yeah. We decided that you know, there was a lot that could be done to reduce suffering caused by disease in a place like Haiti. Um, and it was a wide open blue sky, green field to explore. We knew that. We knew that we could make that difference if we did it the right way. And, and, and so it sounds a little bit arrogant to say what we did was look at other organizations and say, well, that's not how we want to do it. So we took a lot of lessons looking at other organizations. Just a few years later, there would be, there would be a revolt that would lead to the downfall of the dictatorship. And to live through all that was exciting, but uh, you could see the peril in the streets as well. It was a violent time. And that's something that you learn in doing this work as well, that's very difficult to do in the setting of violence and certainly genocide and war. So, uh, and we didn't see that in Haiti, genocide or war, but we did see quite a bit of political violence and a number of coups, uh, one of them very violent. And so Partners in Health had to also weather those storms. And in doing that, we, you know, we learned a lot about our weaknesses and sometimes our strengths, but we kept on pushing forward and growing the organization. So now we work in a dozen countries.